I do want to get to Kristaps Porzingis, though. He's a restricted free agent this summer. The assumption is he'll resign with the Knicks if they offer the max. However, he can sign an offer sheet with another team if he wants. The Knicks would, of course, have the option to match. The New York Daily News says Porzingis is, quote, skeptical about the Knicks. So uh, we've been kind of assuming it's a no-brainer. We did talk last summer. They could have offered him an extension then. They were very vocal about the fact that they weren't doing that, not because they didn't believe in KP, but because they wanted to save money mm -hmm. for free agency this summer and put a better, bigger piece around him, and then they would re-sign him to his next deal. But these are hurt feelings. Gordon Hayward did not get that extension with Utah. They did eventually sign him the following summer, just like the Knicks intend mm -hmm. to yeah, sign KP. They matched. But they matched, yeah. and when it came time to his real free agency, he remembered that. Mm. Uh, what do you guys think is going to happen with Chris Stapps? Well, Kawhi, the same thing. Kawhi mm. was up for his extension, and the Spurs said, you're going to get the max. Just wait until next summer so that we can do some other things. And that's how he got his. I'm, I'm not mad at it from a, a strategic standpoint, but you got to make sure that your relationship with the player is top notch. Mm -hmm. There's no cracks there. There's no fissures or whatever. And <clears throat> there's been little things here and there. Whether it was the him posting the uh, clip of him running, running right. after Fizz said, oh, I don't think he's running yet. Just little things that tell you, maybe it's not all good between them. You know, obviously, he's still probably hurt from the stuff that happened in the Phil Jackson regime. Yeah, I, I think that it was good for both sides to kind of wait it out. Okay. You know, just think, there, there's a whole new front office with Scott Perry, Steve right. Mills, who I think will do a phenomenal job. I believe in him 100%. Whole new coach, Coach Fizz. Mm -hmm. I mean... Things are different with the Knicks now than it was when. But that he front was office is the one there. that decided this past summer not to extend him sure, to save I mean, money for well, the summer, which we well, we all said was a good yeah. idea. Well, Ray, here's the thing. Here's why I say it was, it was perfect to wait. They need to see if this kid's gonna get healthy. Right. You're gonna offer him a hundred, and you, you want to see you want to see him get healthy first. You can't say that. Though. And on the flip side, if I'm KP, I'm saying I want to see what they're bringing to the table. Okay. Because there's gonna be a lot of interest out there for me, so. It is what it is. I think that he's going to be a Nick. I really do. I, I think that's a concern, but I, I would never vocalize that. I would never tell him. We got to see how you look, too. Like, <laughs> now, I can say that. <laughs> of course. That's what I'm saying. They can't say they that. They can't that, say no. that. I mean, remember, the Sixers had that opportunity with Joel Embiid. They did sign him to that extension at the first opportunity. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of people outside who said, eh, don't you want to wait and see how healthy right. he is? Now, they had a lot of caveats in that contract to yeah. say, all right, yeah. if, you, if you break that same bone again, we'll see what happens. Something interesting to watch.